Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can assemble a junction stop valve in KTRA5. So uh, we are almost uh, done with the assembly. So as you can see over here and uh, the next part that is to be inserted is the, uh, what do you call the screw spindle. So I'm going to insert existing component with positioning. I'm clicking on the product one and I'm going to find out where the screw spindle is. And I'm going to click on the axis of both of them, and uh, I'll see. I'll check whether the alignment is proper. Otherwise, I need to invert it. Now, in this case, it's proper. I'll go to Edit Mode, Manipulate, and uh, I'll, uh, pull this up. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use the contact constraint for for this. And uh, so contact constraint on this face and this. So once you're done with that, edit update, and your uh, drawing is updated. Once you're done with that, you can insert the next component, that is the hand wheel. So I'll go to insert existing component with positioning, the hand wheel. So let me find the hand wheel here. So I'll uh, insert the hand wheel <coughs> and click on OK and I'll uh, use the edit mode manipulate and I'm going to pull this up <coughs> so uh, in between we have a bush here so I'll go to insert existing component and I'm going to find the bush so uh, let's just uh, show the software exactly the bush is standing so I'll use the manipulate for this. And then I'll use the contact constraint. face and this face. I'll use the update and after that I'm going to use the contact constraint for this face and this face right here. I'll use the update and you can see the handbill is on the proper place. So once you're done with that you need to insert the next component that is the uh, what do you call the handle? So I'll go to insert existing component with positioning the handle. And uh, we're going to insert it somewhere over here. And uh, I'm going to click on OK and manipulate and I'm going to pull it up. And then I'll use the uh, what do you call the contact constraint. I'm going to use contact constraint and update it. So make sure you're updating uh, after every uh, every joint you give. And after that you need to insert a washer here. So, so the washer uh, is going to be a uh, 20 washer. Zoom it in. Specify the axis. And uh, specify the axis here too. Okay. And use the contact constraint for this. And 
update and then use the next component that is the uh, hex not m20 assembly uh, there is a small tip you can uh, uh, click on the middle button to uh, uh, you know change the rotation center so it's going to be a little bit helpful for your assembly process so uh, assembly process uh, is almost complete I think so I hope uh, there's no parts left to be uh, inserted in this so the nut and the washer, the hand wheel and the lever and uh, screw spindle, top spindle, cover, body, nut and bolts and everything is done. So I hope you enjoyed my video. This is the assembly of uh, uh, our, uh, what do you say, the junction stop valve in KTOV5. So keep watching and uh, uh, find out more about uh, you know different techniques and different uh, features and different things and the design intent and KTRV5 everything about KTRV5 so if you like my video then um, you can uh, give me the feedbacks uh, about my video directly to my mail ID that is shaxktrv 5 online at gmail.com or if you're not subscribed subscribe me like my videos support me make my channel lively thank you